Most people would be thrilled to have one custom Mustang, but for today's customer spotlight, we have these two custom Mustangs owned by the same lucky owner. So here with Anna, who brought both these cars up from Delaware, I believe is where you're from? Wilmington, Delaware, yes. Okay, and tell us the story of these cars. I mean, obviously, this one, <laughs> the wrap is insane. I know the Shelby, we've talked about that in the past, but tell us about, start with the V6 here. So this is 2015 V6. It's a guard metallic car underneath the wrap, and it's my daily. So car is basically stock. So no power additions except for GLT intake, wheels, bigger brakes, wrap, and I just decided to keep it like a little party bus. So it's okay. like, you know, two, two big subs in the trunk and upgraded that sound system. But that's kind of it. And this car has been with me for three years. It's been with me through a lot of different things. And I just have like, you know, personal attachment to it. So okay. What made you want to buy a Mustang? I, I was 25 and I thought that I want to have like a sports car, but okay. I never driven a sports car before that. So I got a V6. Okay. And I just test drove it and I fell in love and literally walked out of dealership the same day with the car. Now, did you have any other, what, what did you have before the Mustang? I had a Mazda 6, 2011 Mazda 6. Not okay. speed, very just basic. Just the base model commuter sedan. So this yes. was a huge step up in performance from that. Even. Yes, I almost got a ticket the same day cruising back home because okay. I just decided to push it. Now, tell me about this wrap. I mean, uh, you know, the car you said, it's basically stock, but it obviously uh, it, it's going to get a little bit of attention going down the road. What what is the theme? What was the thought process? Behind I'm, this? I'm a big fan of DC comics and I love the Suicide Squad movie that came out that like half a year before I did the rap. Okay. And I was always a fan of Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy and I kind of wanted to do something very unique that will stand out. Okay. So I decided to do, the first idea was just to have half a wrap on the car and have a Harley Quinn only. Okay. But okay. then I was like, you know, it looks kind of empty on the other side and people were like, do the Joker, do the Joker. I'm like, no, I want to do something like, you know, more like a friendship kind of cute style instead of like, you know, possessive, abusive relationship kind of thing. Makes so sense. like Poison Ivy is her best friend, is her like soulmate and everything. So like, why not? And me and the, the, the shop that did it is Gemini Raps. Okay. So we sit down and we went through a bunch of pictures and we just found the you know this amazing picture that is on the hood and we're like let's just roll with it okay so you basically gave them an idea of what you wanted the finished product to look yes, like and yes. then jim and i kind of just took it and ran with it yes so and how long ago was this done that was done it's gonna be a year and a half okay i was gonna say because it looks like it's brand new like i don't even see Thank anywhere you. Or anything like that. they did an amazing job on it what is the outfit i, I remember you told me but i don't follow any of this comic stuff well the outfit unfortunately is like completely opposite universe from my cards this is a marvel outfit it's a black widow outfit from the end game i just decided to roll with it this year because you know the black widow in the movie coming out next year i'm really excited about it so like for me it's just i i love the black widow character okay from the marvel universe i like girls from you know comic books and comic movies all right, so this car, obviously, your daily driver, and most people have a boring daily driver, this obviously anything but, but like you said, this is reliable, you know, this is your fun, safe car, and then sitting over there in the corner, we have pretty much the opposite extreme of this car here. <laughs> well, yeah, this is like a little wild kind of pony with like, you know, music and lights, it has a demon eyes on it. Like, it's fun for the daily, but like, one of my friends from the car dealership sent me a picture of an Avalanche Gray Shelby, and I just fell in love. You were done. I was done unfortunately he sold the car exactly the same day okay so i had to chase my car for three months car is from texas okay so i flew to texas on monday i signed the papers test drove the car loaded on the trailer flew back home well, obviously i'm a fan of gt350 so let's get a little bit closer and talk about that one. sounds good so the 350's obviously got a few custom touches visually but this one is more performance tell us about your 350. So the car came from the factory, avalanche gray color, Ford performance color only, no stripes, no roof wrap, nothing. Like car was completely naked. Okay. And for me, it looked like very exclusive, but also kind of plain. It's like, I want something very custom. And uh, I went to the, like one of the vinyl shops in Maryland and we just overlaid a bunch of colors. And like, as soon as the teal was on that car, the color is three, 3M atomic teal. Okay. As soon as it got on the car, I was like, 
this one. It really pops. Yeah. I mean, it really, it actually reminds me to teal on my 93 coat. Yeah. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, it's almost the same color. It's very, very, very close. close. I, I'm a big fan of that color on those, like, you know, that year of Mustangs. But I started from the stripes. I did the roof wrap. And then I started adding the accents. So, like, you know, like little custom badges with, like, you know, little overlays. And then I did the wheels, Project 6JR wheels with custom atomic teal barrel. Took them six weeks to make that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Because they had to order the vinyl, and then they have to color match it. Okay, And gotcha. they were trying to make it look perfect, so, you know, it's a gloss black face, but it's atomic teal barrel. Now, are the calipers, are they a wrap, or are they painted? Wrap. Okay, nice. It's and they're wrap. holding up pretty well? Yep. Very nice. You know, for me, I was like, atomic teal is a very hard color to match, especially for paint or powder coating. So, I was like, let me spend $100 instead of $500. Get Try the vinyl. see if it yeah. works. Yep. Yeah, see so if it been works. On there? It's been two and a half months, several races, and two track events. So speaking of track events, I know you were just at one over the weekend a couple days ago. Tell us about that. Yeah, that was like two days ago, and we were at Poconos Raceway in Pennsylvania. It was my first time at the track officially. It was a roll racing event. So it was like one third of a mile, roll racing, 60 miles an hour start point. And then my top speed for the day was 145.6 miles an hour. Just moving. She's moving. For me, I was very impressed with the car. I, it's a supercharged car, and it's a stick shift car. I am a girl, and I'm driving it not too often. I need more seat time, and I know it. But I was really pleasantly surprised with it. I was going to say, talk more about the power, because as soon as you said that speed, everyone watching is going to know a stock Shelby is probably not going to go quite that fast. Uh, um, tell us, how much power is this car making? What, what's under the hood? Currently, the car has 2650 Edelbrock supercharger, eight ribs. It's pushing from 9 to 11 PSI of boost, and it's making 720 wheel horsepower on 93 octane. Nice. And is that, uh, you plan on turning that up a little bit, I believe? I'm planning to. The car still has the Gen 1 Voodoo block, so okay. I don't want to push my limits with too fire far. A bit. Yeah, 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 too far. But like 911 piece I have boost is pretty impressive, and the Edelbrock is pretty good with the torque numbers mm -hmm. because my torque went from like 420 to 570. Okay. Right yeah, after. Yeah, the 350s are not known for torque for sure. No, and like it comes in very hard at 3500 RPM, so like you can feel it very good, and okay. like yeah, like. I just love the, the way car is. I do want to have a little bit more power, but I also want to be more comfortable with it, you know. Okay. I still have street tires. I have Toyo R888R. Which is a good street tire, but it's it still is. a street tire. It is, yeah. yeah, but like driving here today through the rain wasn't that comfortable. Which we appreciate because most people would not drive their Shelby <laughs> in the rain a couple hours, but we appreciate this, it. This, is, this car is not a garage queen. Good. I got good it like... 800 miles right now it's 22,000 miles and the last 6,000 miles is with supercharger nice nice are there future plans for it i mean are you going to change up anything next or are you kind of just going to enjoy it the way it is uh i will enjoy it as is for now because i'm kind of like you know just moved to delaware so like a little bit different financial situation but eventually it's going to get beefed up block it's going to probably the plan is to get like a southern wheel horsepower thousand wheel out of a shelby that would be yep. nice not gonna buy a third mustang have like the street car the sort of race car and then a full-blown race car <laughs> you know i'm afraid there will be not enough people to drive all my cars you know right now it's just me and like i'm driving two of them like i don't think my dog will drive the third one somehow but um at the end of the day my goal is to have eleanor in my garage okay okay to get to that point i would love to have a separate house i would love to have a like, nice big garage and i can restore that car myself okay you know, get a shell and then restore it i won't claim it as actual eleanor i don't want people to like you know sue me and get the yeah, car away yeah, from me they kind of tend to like to do that yeah you know, be careful with that name. yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna be very careful with that but like this is my dream car this is just like it's an amazing machine i love it i love it but Classics are my passion. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you for coming out. Thank you for bringing out these beautiful cars. And if you'd love to see your car in a customer spotlight, let us know in the comments below.